I would say my style is pretty powerful. You know, I'm a pretty big guy for being a snowboarder, so, you know, trying to use a lot of power and stuff when I ride. And at the same time, trying to be mellow, relaxed, and uh, hopefully make it look good. I do tend to be known for my start in the kilo, that, that's my strong part. Um, I think that's mainly because I used to be the, the first man in the team sprint for, for Sydney. I trained or solely for the first lap, so I do have a good start. So that's what I'm trying to, to, to work on is, you know, get up on my competitors and just hold on. But it's, it's probably the most painful way of doing it because you, you really do start to feel that the sting after the first lap and you've still got three laps to go. So, yeah, I go out hard and just try and hang on. When I was younger, I, I, and now still, I, I love just running around the court and just retrieving everything. So I just kept the ball going. Um, when you're up in the seniors and in the top, top ranks, you just, knew, you just know that you have to have more to your game than just running around the court. So that's why it's so important to have like, expertise like you know, Liz Irving and like, sharing their, their experience and um, show, um, passing it on to what really needs to be done and get, getting as much options as possible to handle, handle the top players. Yeah, I think I think for me personally, is I, I just go out there and, and enjoy, you know, enjoy what I what I'm doing. Um, you know, there, there's a lot of a lot of discipline and a lot of you know a lot of tactics that have to come into play. You know, you sort of got to fit into specific structures, you know, not only at your province but international level. And you know, I like, you know, I'm I'm a type of guy who sort of lives in in, in pressure situation, and he's a guy who, who likes to make a difference in those situations. So, you know, whether it be on attack, whether it be on a defence, being able to make a difference and be able to make a contribution is probably my you know my main goal and main focus. You know, going into each and every game and you know, going out there and showing that you that you love what you're doing and, and giving energy back to the team is, is, is probably what I love doing most and you know, hopefully I'll be able to carry on doing that for, for a while to come. Um, you know, it, it's, it's difficult to describe I mean, because really everyone has a different running style. Mine just happens to be dramatically different from a lot of other people's but everyone has their own style and so it's, it's difficult to explain. But, uh, but it works, and that's the most important thing. And, and I've been fortunate enough to have a coach who, who didn't try to change it or who didn't subscribe to the theory that one guy has to run like every other guy, especially when the guy who's running different is always ahead. You know, it makes sense then to leave well enough alone. And then after all of the criticism, there was so much criticism of my style, even though I was running very fast and, and, and setting records. Uh, people started to take a closer look at it and then we found out that it was actually more efficient than the other guys that I was running against and you have to give uh, my coach Clyde Hart a lot of credit for recognizing that early on instead of uh, a lot of other coaches who would have immediately said you've got to change because you look different from the other guys or you can run faster if you run like everyone else.